been fairly hard, but we've always seemed to get on top, but I can't see this one being you easy at sure all. You're sure we'll be singled out for extra attention. Does that worry you? No, not really. I'm just going to have to keep getting up, that's all. Has the loss of last year's grand final still in your mind? Yeah, that's what I think made the team all that more determined not to lose this one, you know. It's no use coming two years of football and losing two years grand finals, just like Parramatta and Sydney. Can't do it. OK, well... Wally, I believe David has Johnny Solar cornered next door in the south dressing room, something you'll be trying to do pretty soon. Uh, so let's get over and see what uh, Johnny's got to say. John, it's been your brilliance in the last two matches that's been largely responsible for South being here today. What does winning this match mean to you? Oh, it means everything to me, David. You know, it's a, really the highlight of my career, and i just got to win. It's uh, been said by a lot of the press and uh, experts around town that Strudwick is the key to Valleys. Can you handle him today? Oh, I sure can, yeah. yeah. He definitely is the key, but you know, every time I've played him, I've, you know, I've felt myself I've come out on top. I can do it again. Well, it's obvious that uh, John Salter is feeling very confident. I'm with Alan Bracken now. How are you feeling at the moment, Alan? Oh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm not too bad. I'm quite confident in the game, yeah. Feeling aggressive? Aggressive, that's right, yeah. Have you had any thoughts about losing the match? No, not really. I, you know, it's, um, we've come this, come this far, you know, you go to the grand final, we're not going to rest here. We want to win the grand final. Well, that's the feeling of the South back line, and if Meninga fires this afternoon, like he did last week with this near try, Valleys could be in trouble. He got chased by Backer. He shoots Backer! He might score! Oh! No, it's a touch! My final task in South's dressing room is a somewhat awesome one. Face to face with South enforcer Dave Brown. Dave, what do you expect out there in the first 10 minutes? Oh, I think it'll be pretty far in the first 10 minutes, Dave, but I think we can handle it. Will you be uh, going out there with the intention of uh, making it fire yourselves, or do you expect it from Valleys? Oh, not really. I think uh, if they want to put on the fire, we'll give them what they want. As you said, it's going to be pretty tough out there. Have you got any fears at all? No, not at all. Not what, about a, what about a fear of injury? No, not really, though. No. Losing? Oh, just a little bit. Well, that epitomises the uh, feeling in the south front row. George is with Valley's front rower, Tom Duggan. How does uh, Tom feel at the moment, George? Tom, this is your first grand final in the front row. Uh, you got any fears? No, George, none at all. Not even getting physically hurt? No, I can't think about that day like today. There's going to be a lot of work in there. Yeah, I like work. You do? you do? More the merrier. OK, what about a couple of big busting runs as well? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do my part. It'll be your last game uh, in Brisbane, I believe. Yeah, that's right, George. I'll to finish it. On a winning note, yeah. And what's in store for next year? Um, relaxation, just coming down and watch the football in Brisbane every now and then and watching it on the uh, TV. Any uh, particular fears of the, of the two front rows from South? No, nah, none at all, George. I've struck them before and it'll be dark. today will be no different than any other time. Finally, the man in the hot seat, Valley Captain Coach Russ Strudwick. Russ, any uh, last-minute changes, surprises? No, mate. The ground's still here. The pace is still here. Everything seems to be OK. Game plan the same as previous games? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Still nervous, are you? Oh, yeah, mate. Not as nervous as what they are, I don't think. I, we've been here a long time and we've got no problems. What's it feel like to be the, the mark man? I, I think it's South think that way, mate. They might as well not go out in the field. There's 35,000 people out there, Ross. 5,000 died in the Wool Valley followers and 30,000 people hoping like hell that's it, that Valley's going to get beaten. Uh, how do you handle that? Uh, there's 30,000, uh, there might be 5,000 Valley supporters out there and 30,000 people who really don't care who win as long as they see good football. And, uh, mate, we've got the good football, so they'll be on our side. OK, Ross, well, that's the inside story from both camps here. One fellow who's been through it all, of course, is Des Morris. Des is up in our commentary box. So let's go up to Des and uh, see what his last-minute predictions are. Well, thanks, George. The atmosphere out here today is electric. Both sides are uh, fairly keen to get into the game. This is the worst part of the, of the grand final, of course, is waiting to get out there. And uh, Valleys, I feel, are a little bit cooler. And uh, South have got their first up nerves. And uh, I just can't wait for the game to start. It should be a great, uh, should be a really great game. I just can't wait for it to start today. And uh, here's the Southern, Southern, Southern Suburbs team taking the field right now. And have a listen to the crowd. <laughs> Gibson at fullback, Graham and Bracken on the wings, Meninga and Ashton in the centres, Keely and Sol of the halves, Arja Ross at lock forward, Weir and Lumbee in the second rows, Kellaway and Brown the props, David Gould, who can we look for, David Wright? Well, George, Alan Bracken and Mick Graham, the two flankers for the try apiece in last weekend's game, will be looking for similar service. And Billy Arjaros, the Tigerish little lock, smallest uh, lock forward playing in Brisbane, the tackling machine, 
They'll be looking for a non-stop performance from Argeros to uh, contain Valley's attacking machine. He'll be looking for something like around about 40 tackles. Yeah, there's the Valley side. And uh, they're lining up in centre field. And uh, there's the team. Milton fullback. Neil and Faldi on the wings. Close and Whelan in the centres. McWhirter and Strabic the hard. Lewis at lock forward, Summer and McLeod the second rowers, Duggan and McGinn as the props, and Paul Rich is the hooker, of course. David? A look at the Valley's flankman, uh, George. Peter Felby would be surely the fastest man on the field, well up in the try scoring list this year, scoring 15 tries in Brisbane. Mick Neal with the goal kicking responsibilities. He's the top, try, top point scorer in Brisbane football with 226 points this year from 101 goals. Not completely at home on the wing, but settling down after a half a dozen or so games. The Valley centre pair, Vic Whelan and Chris Close, probably the biggest and strongest centre pair in, in Brisbane club football, and their clash with Meninga and Astle should be a highlight of the match. OK, the toss has been done, and after this commercial break, we'll come back with the kickoff. It's on this Sunday from 12 noon, the Warana Food and Wine Festival, sponsored by Diners Club. Great food, good wine, lots of fun, and you're invited. Warana is here again. Great fun and entertainment day and night up to October 7. The free Warana lift out program in the Sunday Mail September 6 gives the locations and times of hundreds of events, including concerts, exhibitions and craft displays, dancing, art, drama, rodeo and many other attractions. Join in the fun and enjoy all the free family entertainment. Warana information centres are in the City Square, Valley Plaza, Bank of New South Wales, Queen Street, Botanic Gardens and at the Mardi Gras South River Bank. Warana, a special contribution to the International Year of the Child. A bail jumper accused of a $2 million rip-offs murdered aboard ship. The same ship on which Eddie Capra's enjoying his long overdue holiday. Who stabbed the stowaway? What happened to the $2 million? That's the baffling Eddie Capra mystery tonight at 7.30 here on Channel O. There it goes from Eddie Warden. Valley's at the kickoff. Lewis sends it well downfield. Tony Gibson under the ball for the first touch for Southern Suburbs. As we said previously, a capacity crowd. I'd say all of 35,000 people. And the first penalty goes to Southern Suburbs. And listen to the Southern Suburbs supporters. Whoa! Well, it's a pro uh, South crowd, George, as expected. I'd say uh, maybe 90% of the people here this afternoon would love to see the underdog Southern Suburbs get up. And a good opportunity here for South to relieve some pressure. They don't want to be caught down in their own court early in this match. They want to get the ball up inside Valley's territory and play no-mistake football. Mick Graham in from the wing. Grabbed by Tom Duggan and Al McGuinness and down goes Mick Graham. He's, he's lost the ball and uh, it's a knock-on. David Gould dives on it, but a knock-on rule. And uh, the first scrum of the match to pack about uh, 15 metres inside Southern Suburbs territory. And referee Eddie Ward not happy with it. The crowd's saying to chant South, South, you can hear them. Valley ball uh, off the ankle uh, and uh, a knock on as well. So we'll have the first scrum once again. Salt of the feed. Richards win this one for Valleys. Lewis is standing up the scrum. Alan Mills. Mills grabbed by Argeros. 10 metres inside Southern Suburbs territory. No score to either side in the 19. 79 grand final, Shrubrick tries the blind side, sends it back inside to McGuinness, he drops it! Another scrum. Very well, disappointed Al McGuinness. And uh, in back play, Strudwick down, and he was stood up in that tackle to flick the ball back to McGuinness, and a couple of South players came over the top. I don't think they really got to him. Could have been as he hit the ground, because I think Ross just saw them coming and went to the turf fairly quickly. Maybe able to pick it up on our uh, replay. Here it, is. Here it is. Ross just are going to offload the ball. And there come the two South players. We might be able to shift those streamers in a moment uh, to give us a better view of the game. Strudwick receiving the uh, magic sponge at this present moment. Well, George, just a look. Uh, here it is from the head on. And there's Strudwick looking around to get the ball. Brown and uh, Gould, Gould was coming, coming in. in over the top. And Strudwick going to the turf fairly quickly. He's OK. Another scrum to pack. The ball of stream is to be at Lane Park. There's one right in front of our commentary box, but hopefully it'll blow away fairly soon. Ah, it's gone now. Thank you. Southern Suburbs with the ball. A couple of metres inside their own territory. Gould, Salter, 
kill away out wide. Runs at Duggan. Finally, Killaway goes to the ground. Solder, Argyros, Astle, Gibson in from fullback, wrapped up immediately. Lumby on the blind side. Down you go. Good tackle, John McLeod. Salter, long pass. Bracken standing in at 5-8. And Keeley out on the wing. Bracken playing 5-8. And uh, Keeley on the wing in this opening stanza, David. Yes, an interesting change, George. Bracken certainly the more solid and experienced player than young Chris Keeley. And uh, I would think that Wayne Bennett might be looking at this as for the settling down period. And I wouldn't surprise to see Keeley come back into 5-8 at a later time in the match. Penalty Fortitude Valley from the scrum. Beating their own uh, second row indicated against John Solder. This uh, kick here would be just at the limit of McNeil's range, I think, George. And Strudwick's decided not to uh, give South any opportunities with possession. And he's decided to go for touch. Kick from Alan Mills, finding touch. About six metres inside the southern suburbs quarter. Can Valley score first points in the 79 grand final? Just over three and a half minutes of play gone. First half, no score to either side. Fortitude Valley, five left in this lot of six. Al McGuinness charging towards the line. Pull down, three metres out. Four left. Stradwick, Duggan. Has no fears, as he told us before the game. Stradwick once again. Ian Soma, Wally Lewis. Lewis back to Stradwick. Gives it out to McQuirter, out to McLeod, Shed Dustle, John McLeod, a strong run! Two metres out with two left in his lot of six. No score to either side. McQuirter, Stradwick, long one to Mills, Chris Close, Close will score! Yes! Great football for the two Valley. Close has scored the first try, Valley three. Now still the first try of the 1979 grand final to Fortitude Valley. And a great piece of work from Fortitude Valley. Strudwick dummies McGuinness. There's McGuinness. Goes to Mills. Quick pass. Mills. Close has just pulled in from behind him. They can't catch him. He's too strong and too fast. And Close scores the first try within the first five minutes. Well, South's yet to settle down and Valley's making ground. Good work from Strudwick. He's dictating play already. Mills up into the back line. Nicely to Close. Close does his best to try and drop it. Then accelerates away. And the cover defence can't take him for Valley's first try. Ominous signs for uh, Southern Suburbs, Des Morris. Yes, George, they were fairly spread right across the field and they didn't have enough men on this side. Uh, the, the play of the ball was right in the middle of the ruck and uh, you know, Valley's read the game very well and they had too many men out here. That was all there was. And uh, Melbourne Inga had about three men to take. He just couldn't do it. And uh, Chris Close was over the first try. Des Morris, our co-commentator this afternoon. Mick Neal with the breeze across him. Valley's have the breeze at their backs in this first half. And Neil just outside the quarterway, and in about five metres, has kicked uh, 107 goals thus far this season, and uh, today will be the most important goals for 1979. Has to judge the breeze, and I think he's judged it. Beautiful kick, and the Valley fed in the outer. Very happy with that one. They're in the minority, as David said. But Valleys lead 5-0 in the 1979 Grand Final after six minutes of play in the first half. Well, George, as expected in the early stage of this game, it was going to be South who had to settle down. They're the young, enthusiastic side up against the cool professionals of Valleys. And Valleys have looked every bit the cool professionals. Scrums at this stage favour Valleys 2-1, and the penalties are one all. Valleys are just very machine-like. No, there's nothing uh, panicky about their play. Strudwick is just standing around at the moment. He just flicks a pass on here and there, calling all the shots. And here's his first tactical kick. It looks a beauty. Run towards the line. Keeley's after it. Gibson's got it covered. Knocks it down. Knocked back indicated. And uh, Gibson takes the ball. Takes the tackle about seven metres outside his own quarter. Southern Suburbs, seven metres outside their own quarter. Valley's leading by five points to nil in this uh, 79 grand final. And, of course, you're watching Channel O's Action League. Bob Kellaway, crunch and down goes Kellaway. 13 metres from the halfway line. David Gould, a dummy half. David Brown. 
Very cool when he was talking to you before the game, David. Yes, he was very uh, fired up for this match. A bad play, the ball, but they've got away with it. Oh. Nothing silly from South required out here today. But uh, David Brown, a good run, too, uh, to get to that position. He ran straight and hard. South must get their fair share of possession. They've showed us in the last two weeks that they can attack. And if they can get enough ball, they could have Valleys in a spot of brother. But uh, Valleys, if they get the ball, I think uh, could really uh, chalk up a big score. Lumby almost to halfway. David Gould from Dummy Half. Gains about eight metres. Pull down. Eight metres inside Fortitude Valley Territory. Lumby to distribute. Solder. Argyros out wide. Has Bruce Astle with him. Out of Meninga. Meninga gets the close. Close charges at him. Puts him down on the halfway line. Astle. Argyros. Puts the chip kick in. Taken by Strudwick. Play on indicated. Strudwick grabbed by Mick Graham and put down. Seven metres inside his own territory. Mills. Lewis. Looks for a gap in the middle. Can't find one. Four metres short of the halfway line. Sommer. Strudwick. John McLeod. Argyros just ankle taps him. Lumby finishes him off. Duggan. Strudwick calling the play once again. Alan Mills. Mills looking for a run. Has Falvey with him. Through the gap. Falvey couldn't get inside quick enough, but a good run from Alan Mills. Mills to play it back. Falvey tries the blind side. Oh, it gives it back to Brian Weir. Weir says, thank you. Bob Kellaway can't believe his good fortune. Up the middle goes Kellaway, but he's grabbed by Al McGuinness and Tom Duggan. 18 metres inside their own territory, southern suburbs. David Brown. A quarter underneath. Gould, Salter, Bracken, Astle. Inside of Meninga this time. Breaks one. Gets to McQuirter, pushes off McQuirter. Lewis comes at him and McQuirter comes back. Ash Lumby from dummy half. And Lumby's down. Strong tackle from Vic Whelan. Lewis takes a swan dive. Oh, beautifully done, McNeil. Yes, and uh, we're seeing tactical kicking from both sides. M McNeil positioned well to take that one from Salter. And we've seen Ross Strudwick do the uh, kicking for Valleys, and this is going to play an important part in the match. Finals are won with no mistakes, and you don't want to play the game in your own territory. Alan Mills tries to step his way through. Argyros tackles him. Tom Duggan doing the front rower's job. Lumbee underneath. Fires it back. Strudwick now to Mills. Mills goes back the other way. But wrapped up in the middle. He should have moved at that time, David. Yes, George, a gap on the w uh, out, out wide, and South is still a little bit thin out in that area. Johnny Salter caught out wide there. And uh, Malcolm Meninga getting caught too close to the ruck, I think, and we'll have to back into his centre position where he's going to be of most value. Just over 10 minutes of play gone first half in this 79 grand final, and Valley's leading South by five points to nil. One try. Stadley puts the chip in. Lewis is after it. Could get a bounce. Takes it. Finds McQuirter. And now he shoots it inside of Stadley. He's overrun it. And Meninga has it. And uh, six to go indicated. They've got it back. They could score again. Summer. Summer looks inside. He's 10 metres out. Oh, yeah. Valleys leading by five points to nil. And a penalty going to uh, Valleys against Brian Weir. Second tackle by Weir. Ardross had grounded Summer nicely. And Weir came over the top and uh, just dived on him on the ground. Here it is again. Summer's down. About to get up and play the ball. And Weir unnecessarily comes in to finish him off and Eddie Ward no hesitation and neither will Ross Strudwick here it is on the end on replay down goes Sommer and there's Weir coming in trying nothing vicious in it just trying to slow up the play but here uh, McNeil now with an opportunity to add another two points Des uh, how do you see the first 11 so far yes I think uh, South have got to slow down the play a bit they're getting caught out of position a hell of a lot in defence and uh, they're not spreading out across the field and Valleys are making the most of every opportunity they're getting scrums and penalties David Scrums at this stage, George, favouring Valleys 2-1, and the penalties favouring Valleys also 2-1. OK, McNeil. Just on the quarter way. About 12 metres in from the uh, terrace touchline, the old terrace touchline. The breeze is non-existent at this present moment. There's the flags on the post just moving, and that's all. And Neil with the one out of one to convert the try scored by Chris Close. He's trying to make it 7 nil, And a bit of a boo for Neil, but that's all the way. One out of two, McNeil. The Valley supporters have something to cheer about. Valley 7, South nil. 
South will be uh, having nightmares at the moment, and Wayne Bennett certainly be one of them. He's had to come from behind in every match uh, in the last three running into this final, and um, it's very important now that he can uh, his players settle down. There's Wayne Bennett up on the end tower we've got up there, the Rick Air Tower, and he's uh, get a bird's eye view from there as he likes watching the play from behind the uh, behind his own side. Valleys with the ball, just outside their own quarter, Tom Duggan. Des, I don't think that uh, Souths can afford the luxury of giving away uh, a start like they gave you guys last week. No, not against the sideline Valleys. They, uh, they're, a bit, they're a hard side. They're, they've trained for two years for this uh, game today, and I they, they mean business the whole way through. Ian Sommer, Wally Lewis, a long one out to Peter McQuirter, Ross Ludwig, Dummies, gives it now to Alan Mills. Mills is through the gap. Looks inside, finds close, but close. Jumped up on immediately. All done with the hospital pass. That one, David. Down the mine there, and uh, Mills just trying to get rid of it just a little bit too early. I think if he could have gone on with the job, and another kick by Strudwick. Valleys are onside. Oh, a big bounce. Can they get it? Williams knocked it on. Fires it back to Wally Lewis, but it's a knock on. Oh, it's all Valleys in this first uh, 13 minutes. Valleys leading by seven points to nil. A try by Chris Close in the fifth minute. Converted by uh, McNeil, and Neil also kicking a penalty goal. A very important scrum here for South. South need to win ball. Scrum's only 2 1 against him, but it's in situations like this where you need the ball. But Valleys have got it. Fortitude Valley in the southern suburbs quarter. Alan Mills. Mills does the dance. Looks for a gap. Can't find one. Put down by John Solder. Tom Duggan. Ross Stradwick. Peter McCoyla. Just inside the quarterway. Strudwick, Tom Duggan, looking for a big one to finish on, as he told us before we started this game. Would like to finish his Brisbane stint with a premiership win. Strudwick, reversing play. Well tackled. Mickey Graham, uh, not Mickey Graham, Alan Bracken. Up it goes. Gibson takes it and uh, almost put into the bandstand. Here it is, the big one from Cape Town. Action replay. Play, 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 play. When my baby's walking down the street, I see red, I see red, I see red. Oh, no, baby, who's the guy? Nick Gilder, Kelly Marie, Blondie. Now, Get the action right here with Doc Parkinson, Skyhooks, Dragon. Oh, 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 oh. Available at Meyer, David Jones, Home Crafts, Waltons, Parling, King & King, Dagen, Grimes, Pickett's, Chandler's, Woolworth's largest stores. It's Bissell Clean Sweep Trade-In Time at Meyer. The easiest way you ever picked up a $5 saving. Trade in any old cleaning aid on a Bissell carpet-carrying product and Meyer give you $5 off. Rush this limited offer and save on the Bissell Gemini Carpet Sweeper or the Cassette Simple Sweep Easy or 8000R. Even the Bissell Foam Master or 9000S Carpet Shampooers. The Bissell Clean Sweep Trade-In at Meyer. Hurry, it's the easiest way you ever picked up a $5 saving. Play to restart from under the goal sticks. Injured player for Fortitude Valley is who, David? Ian Sommer, George. He went down and looks like a recurrence, possibly, of that uh, knee injury that he's had uh, quite a few weeks ago. Alan Mills. Mills dangerous in this situation. Runs straight into big male Meninga, and Meninga hits him with a good shoulder. 15 minutes of play gone in the first half, and Valley's leading by seven points to nil. McQuirter. Dummies. Woo, almost threw a, a pass off the ground. McLeod, across the ruck, grabbed by Lumbee. Valley's on the southern suburbs, quarter way. Richards reversing it to Strudwick, he reverses it again to Duggan. Out it goes to Mills this time, a long one over the top, and it's on the ground. Can southern suburbs capitalise? Knock on indicated. Another scrum to pack, scrum's favouring Valley's 3-1. Penalty's favouring Valley's 
in the error situation. Valleys have made four errors to a Southern Suburbs one, but Valleys have the score their way, seven points to nil. 16 minutes of play gone in this, the first half of the 1979 BRL Winfield Grand Final from Lang Park, and you're watching Channel O's Action League. McWhorter, Mills. Mills involving himself uh, very much in this first 17 or 18 minutes, David. Yes, and he's creating that extra man, and uh, South's really scrambling back into position. They're yet to settle down. They're uh, not quite as well organised, I'm sure, as Wayne Bennett would like in defence, and Valley's usually making ground. They've uh, had the majority of possession, Valleys. They won scrums 4-1, to one and penalties are still 2-1. So that's why Valleys have been able to apply all the pressure. Wally Lewis, the wonder boy. Could score himself. Looks for Falvey. No, couldn't get a good pass to him and goes into touch. Well, I don't know whether Peter Falvey didn't score or Wally Lewis wasn't looking, but there was a try on there. Lewis uh, running across the ruck and Falvey positioned himself perfectly. And there was short pass to Falvey would surely have eventuated in a try. It's come to pack. Bracken back on the wing. Keeley into 5 eighths now, David. Yes, so George the Lodge. change has come after the 15th minute. Studwick's ball again. He's lost it. Picked up by Falvey and he's knocked it on. Another scrum to pack. Ball in by John Salter. 5 1 the scrums, a favour valley. Souths get up and hit it this time. Salter tackled by Studwick. What can Southern Suburbs do with the ball? They haven't had that much of it, David. No, George, and that's uh, the, they are basically an attacking side. They've showed some good attack in the last couple of weeks. And uh, if they don't get sufficient ball this afternoon, as I said earlier, I think Valleys uh, will uh, be much too strong for them. Valleys have come into this game really sweeping all before them in the Brisbane competition. They've only lost three games all year. And with this side out in particular, they've only lost one game, and that was to East back on the 27th of April. So it just shows you just how much this side has dominated the competition. And Ross Strudwick, obviously, the, the key to it. They've scored 113 tries this year to only 66 by South. Mal Meninga, one player who can turn a game with a blink of an eyelid like he's done many times this year. Only down by seven points to nil, Southern Suburbs. They need points fairly soon. Straight to Alan Mills, beautifully positioned. Mills gets to Keeley, and Keeley puts him down. Summer seems to be okay. Peter McQuirta. McQuirta taking it up like a forward. Valley's about 18 metres inside Southern Suburbs territory. Duggan, Lewis, Wally Lewis, and uh, sorry, uh, John McLeod. Summer this time. Studwick has Lewis in support, puts the kick in for him. Through goes Lewis and Falvey. Gibson's there. Taken Tony Gibson and tackled Wally Lewis. And dragged inside the in-goal area. Well done, Lewis. And uh, Strudwick and Lewis, the uh, two players around the base of the ruck that Valleys rely a lot of their attack on. And Lewis was well aware Strudwick was going to put that ball in the air. There he is, wonder boy Wally Lewis. And he and was right feeling on the, the effects of the heat already, David. A very hot afternoon. It is very hot, George. And uh, this is something that Valleys are going to have to be very wary of. Uh, They'll be hoping that they've trained hard enough in the last month because they've only played one game in the last four weeks leading up to this match. South have had a couple of real hard ones and there's nothing wrong with South's fitness. Alan Hills. Put down by Bob Kellaway. Falvey at dummy half. Ian Sommer. Back to Tom Duggan. Duggan. Just on the southern suburbs quarterway. Sommer. Strudwick. John McLeod, McLeod, a strong run. Keeley has him, he gets the ball away. Astle stole it. And uh, Astle lost it again, so we'll have another scrum. Possession too valuable uh, for South to be footing away like that. A bad pass there for Astle to get the ball, and he loses it immediately. There's six tackles gone down the drain. And we're halfway through the first half. Solder gives it to Tony Gibson. Gibson put down on his own quarter way. Astle from dummy half. Mills is up there. He busts off Mills. Busts off McGuinness. Gets to McLeod. Good run, Bruce Astle. Gain about 16 metres. The crowd chanting for South. The try now is what they need. Dave Brown. Brown above Kellaway. Kellaway. Three metres short of the halfway line. Valley's leading by seven points to nil. Johnny Solder. 
shoulder inside of Meninga. Meninga dummies one. Can he break away? He can't. Valley's having, but Souths are on the rampage about 20 metres inside. Fortitude Valley Territory. Can Southern Suburbs score? Out it goes. Solder. Argeros. Keeley. Keeley steps. Back inside. Pull down. Fires it to Bob Callaway. Callaway fires it to Dave Brown. Brown gets to Summer. Fires it back to Johnny Salter. Salter looking for support, but put down on the last tackle coming up. Salter to play the ball. 15 metres inside. Fortitude Valley Territory will eat. Put it up, or won't they? Weir, long one to Meninga. Can he break him? Just it fires it inside. Picked up by Gould. Forward pass. Let go. Eddie Ward wasn't in position for that one. Callaway can't get away, and good defence from Fortitude Valley. Good defence by Valleys, but South's just showing what they can do, and Meninga involved a couple of times, and he's obviously the danger man. Salts are in there and everything, and if South can get a bit of ball, they could have Valleys in trouble. Scrum to pack 20 metres inside. Valley territory. They've won another ball, Southern Suburbs. Billy Argeros tries to brush off Ollie Lewis. He nearly did. Lewis hangs on. 20 metres inside. Fortitude Valley Territory. Away goes Chris Keeley. Keeley pull down about three metres inside the quarter. Valley's leading by seven points to nil. Can Southern Suburbs score? Long one. Bruce Astor. Astor on the quarter way. Southern Suburbs chance to attack now. Valley's will have to defend. The 79 Premiership, 22 minutes old. And uh, Alan Bracken pulled down. Valley's leading by seven points to nil. David Gould, dummies Argeros, dummies everybody. David Brown finishes with it towards the line. Put down 10 metres out. This is the last tackle. David Gould has a go to Alan Bracken. Bracken! Pull down. Not in a touch, but only about two precious metres from the line. Yes, Des? This close looks as if he's injured the shoulder at this stage. You're right. Close, favouring his... Uh, Left shoulder, and uh, being assisted at this present moment. Lumby's gone off, and Connell's on. Lumby off, Connell on, and Lewis down. So uh, we'll see what referee Eddie Ward is going to do. It looks like the ambulance man will be coming on for Wally Lewis, but uh, we've had the change. There's Connell, number 10, stretching the hamstrings, and we'll see what the magic of Mal Connell can do. I surmise this is the best time to bring him on, David, when Souths are down there in Valley's quarter. Yes, George, uh, the game uh, not going against, uh, not going with uh, Souths at the moment, only points-wise, because they've showed with the ball they can attack well. I would suggest here, too, that there's not a great deal wrong with Wally Lewis. I think they're just uh, giving themselves time to see just how bad Chris Close is. Wally Lewis just happened to go down in the middle of the scrum, and therefore the scrum couldn't be packed. Close is up now, and it seems that Wally Lewis is up soon after him. Miraculous recovery from Wally Lewis on that occasion. But uh, gamesmanship at its best, and uh, that's how grand final to one and lost, David. Oh, my word, George, you cannot afford to go down with a, a man short uh, with a scrum being packed that close to the line, and uh, very good tactics, really. Peter McWhorter. McWhorter's about 10 metres from his own line. Valley's leading by seven points to nil. Ian Sommer. Stradwick, McGuinness on the run. Connell takes him down. Paul Richards, almost through. Billy Argeros hanging on by one fingernail. And he had to, too, because Richards could have gone a long way there. Stradwick's kick, running for touch. Gibson across and has it covered. Well done, Tony Gibson. Got Falvey to beat. Beats Falvey easily. Gets to Duggan. Beats Duggan and scrambles an extra two or three metres. Good run, Tony Gibson. Cram at dummy half. Likes to run from there. And runs into some valley defence on this occasion. There's the crowd and their South chant. Have a listen to them. And the penalty goes South's way as well. John Solder to kick for touch. Valley's leading by seven points to nil. Coming up 24 minutes of play in this first half. Mal Connell is on. Lumby is off. Bracken has reverted back to his uh, wing position. He played the first 15 minutes at 5'8". And Keeley's back at 5'8". So Wayne Bennett using every available trick in the book, David. Yes, George. And uh, he'll want to, too, because um, South, although they're settling down somewhat now, Valley's uh, still seem to be uh, in command. Uh, and uh, it's going to be his top players, such as Meninga and Astor, um, that are going to win or lose this game for him this afternoon. Mickey Graham, Southern Suburbs, Graham almost through. Southern Suburbs on the attack. 
25 minutes of play gone. First half. Valley's leading by seven points to nil. Mal Connell, the pocket dynamo, as they've called him. David Brown says, I'll have a run. Run he does. Gains 10 metres. Fires it back. How did he do that? Connell to Solder. Solder dances to a gap. Could he score? Fires it inside. Callaway. They're keeping it alive. Connell again. Out to Astle. Astle has to straighten up. Does. Can he give it away? He can to Argeros. Argeros pull down. All desperate stuff from both sides. Great football, Des Morris. That's right, George. They're certainly keeping the ball alive and they're throwing everything at Valleys and uh, that's the only way to bust them oh, up there. Bob Kellaway knocks on on the final tackle. But there's a lot of football left in this game yet. The grand final, 26 minutes of play gone and Valley's leading by seven points to nil. You're watching Channel O's Action League. It's a big to feed this scrum. How are the scrums, David? Sure, the scrums uh, favouring Valley six to four. Penalties two all. Ball in by Ross Tudwick. Big push on. And uh, the scrum coming down. David Gould underneath it. So big to feed the ball once again. Just inside his own quarter. In it goes. Valley ball from the scrum. Alan Mills. Mills. Gives it now to Vic Whelan. Whelan breaks one. Has Falvey with him. Can he get it to him? Falvey going inside. Couldn't get the ball. Whelan not effectively held. Play on indicated. And Whelan about six metres inside the Southern Suburbs Territory. Falvey to Tom Duggan. Up the middle goes Duggan. Pull down, 20 metres inside Southern Suburbs Territory now. Imperative at this stage, David, that uh, Southern Suburbs keep Valleys out with a score 7-0 against them. Oh, yes, George. Uh, they can't afford to let Valley score uh, points now. But uh, they find having trouble containing Valleys uh, when in possession. And uh, Wheeland, I thought, made a mistake there, waiting for his support. Instead of uh, letting the support catch him, he just seemed to be idling along, whereas if he'd really put on the base, could have made a lot more damage. Trouble here for Southern Suburbs. Lewis to Mills. There's men over. Mills to Wheel and dropped it and uh, regained it. Scrum to pack for the knock on. A couple of uh, chances gone begging there for uh, Valley's Des. That's right, George. It's a case of having too many. Too many men there at, the, at that moment, and uh, there's Vic Will, and if uh, he hadn't have been there, I think uh, Felby might have been a chance of going with a straight pass from Mills. It's a typical Aussie morning. Typical Aussie day And I love this place I was born in In a typical Aussie way And I'd sure hate to lose our sunshine But I feel it slipping away And we're gonna have to wake up sometime But everything is not okay Have a go We can do it Have a go We'll come through it, that's how we got the country started. Boots and all and knock our party. Let's all climb that mountain, that's what mountains are for. Let's all stand up for the counting, where we can be is worth working for. Have a go, you can do it. We can do Venus sunglasses are available at Meyer, David Jones, Reeds of Ipswich, and all leading pharmacies. Ball in by John Solder, the scrum about seven metres inside southern suburbs, quarter way. And Souths win the ball again when they need it. Shudwick grabs Solder. Mal Connell played at, six to go. 
Connell fires it back to Argyros. Out it goes to Chris Keeley. Keeley steps back inside. Well done, Todrick coming from behind. Just inside their own quarter, Southern Suburbs. Kellaway, Connell. Long one to Meninga. Meninga gives it now to Bracken. Bracken comes infield, fires it back to Astell. Good football, Southern Suburbs. They've taken the ball within 15 metres of the halfway line. Valley's leading by seven points to nil. There's about 12 minutes left in the first half. Connell fires it back. Oh, Meninga got it finally. It looked like a suspect forward pass from here, but let go. Gould, Weir, Salter, Keeley out wide. Gibson's there. Gives it to Graham. Could Graham beat Falvey? Falvey hangs on. Bit of help there from Strudwick. Graham to play it back. Tony Gibson, David Brown. Brown tries to push off McQuirter. McQuirter hangs on. Last tackle coming up for Southern Suburbs. Salter, Argyros. Bruce Astle onto a beautiful pass. He comes in field. Southern Suburbs on the run again. Mal Connell brush off one. Back to Argyros. Out it goes to Bracken. Bracken comes back in field. Can't get the ball away this time. That was the last tackle. And the scrum to pack about eight metres inside Fortitude Valley Territory. Well, South, as they said, uh, as their pre-match plan was to move the ball, and they're certainly doing that, and it's finding Valleys having to do a lot of cover defending. They're not being able to contain South in that first up movement, and then they're relying on the cover defence of Strudwick, who's doing a lot of work coming across field, and Wally Lewis is having to come out of uh, uh, his cover defending position, actually, and move up into the front line because gaps are being left because they're having trouble getting back into position fast enough from this uh, fast-moving South attack. Valley ball once again. By golly, I think Valleys have had more ball in this grand final than they've had in any game for the whole year. Scrum's going their way 8-5 at this stage. Stradwick, McQuirter, Mills, quick passing. Wheel under Close. Close has got Falvey with him this time. Close having a big run. But uh, pulled down by Johnny Solar in great cover defence. Good work, Johnny Solar. Falvey, Stradwick, McQuirter, Summer on the burst. Straight up. Takes the tackle. Six metres short of the Southern Suburbs quarterway. Valley's on the run again. Now it goes to Big Al McGuinness. McGuinness fires it back to McQuirter. McQuirter looks for the gap, gives it... No, nope. thought he passed it to Richards. He did. Finally, he did. Richards, a good run. About seven metres inside uh, Southern Suburbs territory. A quick pass will score a try. Now it goes a long one to Whelan. Lewis. Lewis goes over, close his head. Falvey, they can still score. Falvey, ball in both hands, looks inside. Put down. Good football, Falvey. Not allowing himself to go into touch. Last tackle coming up, he plays it forward, looks for support now, but pull down about a metre short. Valleys with opportunities and they're letting them fritter by. They've had a couple of chances to score tries on this left-hand side with uh, South's defence shot to pieces and it's been a couple of bad passes or mishandling that's let them down. They've made errors 7-2 to two, and that's unlike Valleys, be mainly because I think they've had that much ball. South ball this time. Des Morris, uh, the main reason probably is that... Um, these overlaps are coming is because of Alan Mills' involvement, do you think? Yes, I think he's living in the line a little bit too much and taking out the surprise element. The thing that uh, amazed me a bit about South, they're not using the left wing uh, where they've got McNeil against them, which would probably be the weakest link in uh, Valley's side as far as his wing play goes. Not as a footballer, he's a very good footballer, but as far as a, a winger goes, he just isn't used to playing there. And uh, just a few times, I if they let the, the ball do the work out there and use a bit of pace that they have got it there, they might have done, done a bit more with it. It's going that way now, but it comes back inside to Meninga. Meninga grabbed, held up, 15 metres short of halfway. Last tackle, David Gould from dummy half. Gould pushes off McQuirty, gives to Meninga, fires at the solar. Can they find a space? Back to Billy Argyros. Argyros finally put down. And the scrum to pack for the final tackle. About 17 metres inside Southern Suburbs territory. Seven of the Valley players have played for Queensland. And the five of the Southern Suburbs players uh, Queensland representative, so plenty of experience out there in both sides. Penalty going to Fortitude Valley. And of course, McNeil will kick for goal. The uh, players in the Valley side that have played for Queensland, Alan Mills, Chris Close, Peter McQuirter, Ross Stradwick, Wally Lewis, John McLeod and Tom Duggan. And the Queensland reps in the Southern Suburbs lineup, Meninga, Astle, Solar, Kellaway and Brown. So there's plenty of experience in both sides, and there's only um, four players out of the Valley lineup that uh, didn't play in the grand final against Eastern Suburbs last year, and I speak of Chris Close, and Jared Fitzpatrick was in the centre last year. Mark Zillman and Trevor Johnson were in the forwards, and this year Ian Summer and Paul Richards have replaced them. 
Des, uh, there's about eight minutes of play remaining in this first half. What would Wayne Bennett be thinking of now, do you think? Be worried about the points they are behind and uh, to make sure that they didn't, they didn't give any more points behind, away in the, uh, in the first half. They're going to have the wind with them in the second half, but it's not a, it's not a big wind when you get down on the ground level. And uh, you know, I think he'd be trying to minimise the, the points against him at this stage. Well, There's not much he can do up in the stand there. He's just got to hope the players can do it, doesn't That's it? right. He's left his wreck air stand and he's gone to the dressing rooms. There's about eight minutes of play left in the first half. McNeil, it might sneak over. It does. It hardly got further than crossbar height all the way. But three out of three to McNeil. And nine points to nil. Valley leading south with about eight minutes of play remaining in the first half, David. George, I think what Wayne Bennett will be able to say to his players at halftime is that they've done it before. They've come from behind before in matches. He'd obviously still like to see them get uh, points late in this first half and uh, cut down that deficit of nine points at the moment, which is uh, a fairly massive one in a grand final. But it looks like Valleys have decided now that they're going to play the game down the other end of the field and a long kick by Mills. And they'll, they'll be looking now to contain South down inside their territory. Well, it was exactly six minutes of play left in the first half last week when Eastern Suburbs led by a very comfortable margin of 14 nil, but at halftime was 14 8. So let's see what Southern Suburbs can do in this final six minutes. Chris Keeley making a fist of it. Pull down just inside Valley Territory. Can Southern Suburbs score points before half time? I'm sure every man in that team is aware of it. Bruce Astle, the captain, would be put down now with the ball. Three metres inside Valley Territory. David Gould running from dummy half. Gives it back to Mal Connell. David Brown. Brown looks for support, finds Argeros. Argeros put down 20 metres inside Fortitude Valley Territory. On the last tackle, David Gould, John Sola, Mal Connell. Connell into the attack. Out it goes through Meninga. Picked up by Bracken. He's lost it, regained it. Play on indicated. Infield he comes and put down. That was the last tackle. Anders Gunderpack about nine metres inside the Fortitude Valley Territory. Valley's defence is uh, covering well. They're, uh, they are not always getting to that first tackle, but there's always other players there to support them. And South Attack getting a little bit frustrated, and we saw that long pass from Connell not going to hand. South's pushing, pushing, pushing. Can Johnny Sola get it? Penalty against Fortitude Valley for collapsing the scrum. And at nine points to nil, with five minutes of play remaining in the first half. What is Bruce Astle going to do? Solder is going to kick for touch. Well, I would have had a shot for goal, George. I think well, well within Meninga's range. But uh, Astle uh, decided a couple of times against East last week to take the tap when he was well outside the uh, one-point try margin. So let's see if it uh, comes off for him because Solder scored his first try last week of a similar situation. Five left in this lot of six. Can Southern Suburbs score before half time? Valley's lead by nine points to nil. Now Connell. Connell breaks a couple of tacklers. By golly, he's a strong young fellow. Eight metres out. Connell to play the ball. Back to Gould. Solder. Keeley. Astle. Put down. 12 metres out now. Southern Suburbs needing points before the half-time hooter. Weir. Having a go himself. Gets to McQuirter. McQuirter puts him down. Still nine metres from scoring. Argeros goes to dummy half. Argeros. Inside of David Brown. Brown back the other way to David uh, to Johnny Solder. Solder put down on the last tackle now. They'll have to try the bomb, I think, David. Yes, George, it'll be a good tactic because they're not uh, getting... No, they haven't. Argeros. Argeros by himself. Astelec hitting it alive as much as they can, but Southern Suburbs can't put that elusive try on thus far into the game. About three and a half minutes of play remaining in the first half, and Valley's leading... By nine points to nil. Scrums favouring Valleys. 8-6. An important one for Southern Suburbs here. Ball in by Stradwick. Penalty again to Southern Suburbs. Much closer this time. There's Valley captain coach at halfback Ross Stradwick. Shaking his head. And it looks like Meninga will kick for goal this time. He's talking about the Valley side, of course. This time last year, they were doing battle with the Eastern Suburbs Tigers. And uh, what a valiant game that was. Des Morris will never forget it. Down 10 points to nine, with five minutes of play remaining. And home come the Tigers, Des. Home they come, that's right. 
Maybe they couldn't do it last week, George. Valley's last premiership win was in 1974 in one of the only grand finals played in Brisbane where there was no tries scored at all. Nine points to two, Valley's beat brothers. All goals and field goals. Two penalty goals and a field goal to Ross Strudwick, a penalty goal to John Crilly, and two field goals to Alan Mills. And Mills and Strudwick, the only two survivors from that 74 team. But Big Al McGuinness had number 16 on his back that day. Henry Holloway was the coach of Valleys and Paul Broughton the coach of Brothers. On that occasion, Mal Meninga. It looks good. No goal. No goal. Valleys still lead by nine points to nil with precious little time left in this first half. Just Stay with us during the halftime break because we'll be looking at the highlights of the first half. And also uh, David Wright and Des Morris will be uh, reviewing the first half and uh, looking at what may happen in the second half. Tony Gibson. Kellaway. Strong run, Big Bob Kellaway. On the halfway line. McGuinness trying to uh, wrench his leg off. Solder. Astell. Back inside. Th thinks he sees a gap, and by golly, he almost did. Two metres inside. Fortitude Valley Territory. Argeros. Mal Connell. Back inside a Keeley. Keeley wrapped up. Only one try in it. Close scored the first try, and the only try. Five minutes into the first half. David Brown. Around goes Brian Weir. Last tackle coming up. Meninga from dummy half. Argeros, back inside, it's on the ground, picked up by David Gould, David Brown, Connell, Salter, Bracken. Richards out there, fires it inside to Astor. Southern Suburbs keeping the ball alive at every available opportunity. Mal Meninga receiving some attention, and this should be the last scrum of the first half. George, in the defensive department, as expected, players who were going to chalk up tackles have but a real shock of the match has been Al McGuinness. He's chalked up 17 tackles. McWhirter, 17, the tackling machine for Valleys, has only got the same as Big Al McGuinness. And Billy Argeros, South's tackling machine, has got 18. Argeros with the ball now. Half time, precious seconds away. There it is. Referee Ward's heard it. John Sola back inside of Mal Connell. Can they score after the bell? Connell, Haller goes to Argeros. Bracken, he looks inside. He's away inside the corner. Lewis is after him. Mills is after him. He lost the ball. Oh, what a way to end the first half. Valleys lead at half time by nine points to nil. Bracken can't believe it. Valleys nine, South nil. After this commercial break, back with the highlights of the first half and a talk with Des Morris and David Wright. I'm singing in the rain. J&B Records Just presents Doris Day, 20 Golden Greats. Okay, set up. Fantastic collection, K Sara Sara, a guy as a guy, getting to know you, teachers pet. All your favourites, Lullaby of Broadway, Pillow Talk, Please Don't Eat the Daisies. Please, please don't eat the Daisies. There's high hopes, Windy City, the lovely secret love. I had a the one and only Doris Day. Love me or leave me, Black Hills of Dakota. Me back to the black. For the first time on one LP, black 20 Hills glorious songs from the golden girl of Hollywood. Everybody loves They're all love here. Zippity doo da. Zippity doo da. Doris Day, 20 golden greats available Fly right now at the special TV price one, of just $6.99 from record stores everywhere. World Travel Headquarters, the women's weekly tour people, bring you Swing Away Asia Holidays. Swing Away Asia gives you the best in itineraries, the best dollar value, shows you more and cares for you more than anybody else. Swing Away Asia gives you all first-class hotels and air-conditioned coaches. Swing Away Asia flies Qantas. Get this brochure, then... Swing Away, Swing Away, on a Swing Away. Okay, half time of the 1979 BRL Winfield Grand Final. Of course, Valley's leading by nine points to nil. A try by Chris Close, converted by McNeil. Two penalty goals kicked by McNeil. Mal Meninga has one shot at uh, penalty goal, was unsuccessful. But what a tough first half, David Wright. 
Well, yes, George, I think Valleys would be well satisfied with it because they've got the points on the board at 9-0. They've uh, been making ground in attack. They've had some good variation, and their defence has been able to hold out some good, some good attack from South. South didn't settle down early, and that was a problem that we thought they might have because they are a fairly young side. But they have settled down somewhat and been able to hold uh, Valleys out in the latter part of the first half and create some errors that we haven't normally seen from Valleys. The error count's seven two, so Valleys making the mistakes. There's a lot more football left in this game yet because South has shown they can attack. And if they put a little bit more variety into it, not just keeping the ball alive, but running hard, they could still uh, get back into this match, but it's very important they get points on early in the second half. Yes, Morris, your thoughts? Yes, George, I think what Dave said is pretty right. They, uh, they're not running in the fours, they're not taking the ball to the defence, they're, they're content to just throw it around. And while they're not making an inroads in into the uh, Valley's defence, they're not, uh, they're not uh, fixing up the, the straight line defence, they're not busting that up at all. Until you start busting a side and putting them on the back pedal, then uh, you're not really gaining anything. I think uh, a few of those South blokes they've come out today and seen 35,000 people looking at it for the first time and obviously had a few jitters early, but I think they've settled down now. And, uh, with a little bit of luck and I think a, a bit more hard running by the forwards, I think they can still come back. Uh, Valley's come out as a side who, who was looking for uh, football after two weeks layoff and uh, they performed that way for the first 20 minutes. They've now settled down and they're probably, uh, if anything, a bit over keen with Alan Mills. He's trying to do too much in attack and uh, but they're still, they're still throwing the ball around, and when they have got the ball, they're, they're making a fair bit of yardage. Dennis, do you think that's the reason why they're making the mistakes? Just too much ball and too many people there? I think this, yeah, that's about it. I think that they've had a lot of ball. They've nearly had all the first half until the last five, five or ten minutes. But uh, I think they'll settle down at half time and uh, probably start off again like they did in the, so in what's the first the half. In the second half? Well, I think Valleys have to win it. David, back to you, and what do you think? Well, yes, yeah, sir, I think Valleys will go on with it. Uh, I'm sure Ross Strudwick in, in the dressing room there now will be just saying that if South don't score, we win the match. They've got the points on the board there. I'd say we're going to see uh, even tighter defence from Valleys in the second half, and it's going to be very hard to see South chalking up points. But South have come back every time, and that's what Wayne Bennett will be saying. Look, we can do it, we can do it, we've come back before, and that's the message he'll be trying to get across to his young goers. Whether they can or not remains to be seen. OK, well, of course, the first try was scored by Chris Close. A very good opening stanza from Fortitude Valley, and his closest try once again in slow motion. You can see the dummy pass McGuinness to Alan Mills. Mills, a quick pass, and Chris Close pulls it in from behind him, dives over the line, down for the Fortitude Valley first try. They led 3-0 after five minutes, and here it is from end on, the long pass, Mills, there it goes behind him, he pulls it in, you can see the white line, and close in for the first try. That's the only try of the first half, and of course there was a near try near half-time, or after the half-time hooter as a matter of fact, which was uh, almost scored by Alan Bracken. Here it is, Southern Suburbs in a bit of a quandary, not knowing which way to go. Solar fires it back to half-time hooter, has gone at this stage of the game. Mal Connell refuses to die with it, fires a long one out to Billy Argeros. Argeros out to Bracken, and Bracken does very well. Dummies goes inside, gets inside the quarter, runs very hard. Lewis comes across, dives at him. Mills is there, and just as well Mills was there, but Bracken had lost the ball anyway, and that was the near try. Here it is from the head on. Once again, as I said, Southern Suburbs in a bit of a mess there after the hooter had gone. That's switching it around. Mal Connell doesn't know which way to go. He says, I'll try this side. Argeros, and as I said, Bracken does good work. Dummies, Neil takes the dummy. Away he goes. Mills has got him covered. Lewis has got him covered. But uh, as he reaches, he loses the ball. And that was the closest that Southern Suburbs got to uh, scoring a try in the first half. And as I said, it happened just as the half-time Hooter had sounded. OK, that's it for the first half. After this commercial break, back with all the action of the second half, the 1979 Winfield BRL Grand Final. Here it is, the big one from k Towel. Action replay. Wait, 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 wait. Nick Gilder, Kelly Marie, Wandy. Get the action right here with Doc Parkinson, Skyhooks, Dragon. The Babies. Action. Action replay, six ninety nine from Cape Town. A 
Available at Meyer, David Jones, Home Crafts, Waltons, Parling, King & King, Dagen Grimes, Pickett's, Chandler's, Woolworth's, Larger Stores. Joe? I have time to say this. In the world of opera, children are rarely seen or heard, but that doesn't mean that we're not concerned about them. We are, especially the millions of children in the poorer countries suffering from poverty, hunger and disease. UNICEF works year in and year out to improve their lives. Give now to the UNICEF Committee of Australia GPO Box 9911 in your capital city. 1979 is the International Year of the Child. Make it count. Second half underway. Mel Meninga takes the kickoff. And McNeil has the ball. It looks like there's no changes to either side during the half-time break. Chris Close is still there. Some of the players that were slightly injured during the first half will look for. Meninga still there. Graham's still there. Yes, there's no changes to either side. And 40 minutes of furious football left for this 1979 BRL Winfield Grand Final Premiership Cup. Tom Duggan. Duggan 20 metres inside his own territory. Richards. On the last tackle. 15 metres short of halfway. McGuinness. Strudwick. Vic Whelan. Whelan, looking for support. John McLeod, my memory serves me right, Des. Last year, Vic Whelan uh, really hit his straps in the first 10 minutes of the second half. That's right, George. He, uh, he went very well in the grand final last year, and uh, he was the man that nearly pulled the game out of the bag for them. But uh, he's having a quieter game today. They seem to be turning him back inside a little bit and uh, stopping him from getting his ball to his supports outside. First scrum win to Fortitude Valley. Look how flat those back lines are, David. They're almost shaking hands with each other. Yes, George, and they've been doing it all day, and uh, neither side wanting to give the other one any latitude at all to be able to attack from the uh, scrum base. And uh, just from what we've seen in the first two minutes of this second, the Valleys are obviously going to tie this game up and uh, try and play it very safe. They've run uh, about four or five times in the previous six tackles from dummy half. They haven't been prepared to kick possession away to South. And there goes Johnny McLeod again from dummy half. So uh, South will have to be uh, aware of this. They want to start playing a uh, double marker if necessary. And what's the centre of the ruck? Alan Mills in. Vic Whelan. Whelan. Back to Alan Mills. Steps. One. Fires it to Wally Lewis on the burst. Lewis is away. Gives it back to Close, but Close has dropped it. Southern Southerners ball. Mick Graham with the ball. And Graham just outside the quarter way by about three metres. Southern Suburbs with the ball, just outside their own quarterway. Valleys led at half-time by nine points to nil. Valleys nine, south nil. Second half, about two minutes old. David Gould tries his luck from dummy half. Gains about ten metres. Connell, Salter. Long torpedo punt kick. Neal's there, has a Sunday's eyes. Taken well, McNeil. Beats Meninga, but uh, doesn't beat Astell. Meninga slightly injured, attempting to tackle. John McLeod. McLeod, right on halfway. Sommer, McWhirter. Strudwick to Mills. Gap out there for Whelan. Close on the burst. Well tackled. Good tackle, David, that one. Good tackle there uh, from Keeley. And Keeley has been a player that, when he came into the 5 position in the first half, did cause Valley's uh, defence some... A uh, deal of trouble. He's got a nice, neat little step, and uh, he hasn't been overawed, uh, this young fellow, uh, by the occasion this afternoon. Wally Lewis breaks one. What a footballer this fellow is, Des. He's got a great pitch, George. He's, uh, he's got, he can do anything, and uh, he's a good defender. He kicks well, does everything. Attempted field goal from Rastrudvik, but uh, dropped short under the crossbar. No points. Valley still lead by nine points to nil and play to restart from the quarterway. I think Ross uh, Strudwick would be very keen to get uh, more than the uh, two converted tries away, George, at nine nil at the moment. If South can score, 
then they're right in this match. But if Ross can get a penalty or get that one pointer over that he was attempting for, I think uh, South would uh, find it very hard psychologically to uh, fight on in this match. Moon, room to move now. Keely through the gap. Meninga looming on his outside. What a tackle. Wally Lewis. Penalty. A penalty. What for? Penalty there going for uh, John McLeod, uh, impeding Mal Meninga to get into position. We can I've see that again on the replay. Uh, showed out very clearly a professional foul by McLeod. And uh, he was no way uh, going to catch uh, Keely. So he had to do something about stopping uh, Meninga. There's Meninga in uh, the bottom of the screen. And McLeod's the fella right next to him now. There's the close-up of Keeley. He's gone through the gap nicely. Determination on his face. He's sprinting hard. As and, a look, uh, but unfortunately we we've... We haven't uh, got it in, on, on camera, but that was certainly what it was for. Changed camera angles that we just uh, took off at the split second when McLeod was going to put him on the deck. Southern Suburbs need the points early in the second half, as David said. Five minutes of play gone in the second half. Valley's hitting by 9-0. The 1979 BRL Winfield Premish in the balance. And, of course, you're watching all the action on Channel O's Action League. The crowd chanting south, south, and away goes Big Bob Kellaway. South are inside the quarter way. Down by nine points to nil. Can they score the try to get back in this game? Argyros around goes Gould. Whoa, a bit of a mix-up and a valley ball. People going everywhere, a valley ball. McQuirter runs it up like a forward and gains about 12 metres in the effort. Well, their, uh, their rehearsed moves coming undone at the wrong times, Des. That's right, they had two on there in a row, and that was uh, probably a bit adventurous for them. They, uh, the first one worked well, but the second one, I think if they'd have just got quick hands, they might have been better served. Richards, seven metres short of halfway. Duggan, back to nobody, but picked up by Summer. Stodwick, McWhorter. Stoppy goes around him, and a uh, Southern Suburbs ball this time. Weir, Mal Connell, long pass again to Meninga, comes infield, wrapped up, swarmed upon, jumped upon and put down by Whelan and Close. Keeley from dummy half, fires it back to Gould, Halley goes to Sola, Sola to Astle, got a gap, Halley goes to Bracken, confronted by McNeil, Neil puts him down, seven metres short. Of the Valley Quarterway, Southern Suburbs with the ball. Astel goes around Sola. Oh, and he got through. I thought Tommy Duggan was going to shift the position of his left ear there for a minute, David. Well, he did his best to do it, and he was very lucky not to get away without being penalised. And South uh, showing some good attack early in the second half, but uh, Valley's defence up to it at the moment. Keely steps. Wrapped up. Scrum the pack on the uh, Valley Quarterway. Only one scrum second half. That's gone to Valleys. They have the scrums their way 9-7. And uh, there's only one penalty. That's gone Southern Suburbs way. They have the penalties their way 5-3. Both back lines standing very flat. Valleys have the ball. Strudwick to Lewis. Lewis put down. 17 metres short of the halfway line. Ian Sommer. Mal Connell, the tackler. Al McGuinness loves to run. Fires it back to Alan Mills. Mills, just inside the southern suburbs half. Neil. McQuirter. McLeod. McLeod trying to struggle the hands free. Fires one over the top. Close has it. Play on indicated. Graham has hold of Close and uh, he puts him down. Seven metres inside southern suburbs territory. Valley still leading by nine points to nil. That was a half time score. And about eight minutes of play going into this second half. Richards, Studwick, delays the pass to John McLeod, to, Bruce, to Peter McQuirter, Al McGuinness, McGuinness, back to McLeod, McLeod, uh, can he get it away? Finally loses it. Bracken has it for Southern Suburbs. Well, uh, Valley's just trying uh, a little bit too hard uh, to get that pass away. McLeod had an opportunity there to slip it the first time, didn't slip it, and then uh, elected to try a desperation one, and Valleys don't need to get desperate. They've got the points on the board. They have to let uh, South make all the mistakes and take all the risks. Very critical stage of the game for both sides. Coming up to 10 minutes of play into the second half, Valleys have the lead of nine points to nil. They've got to hang on to it, and Southern Suburbs know that they've got to get points on the board.
Kellaway to play the ball. Back to David Gould. John Sola. Left foot kick for touch on the grandstand side. Falvey chases it, but he can't catch it. Good kick, Johnny Sola. And uh, even though scrums are against him 10-7, that was the tactics I feel Des. That's right. They've got to play the game in uh, Valley's half, that's for sure. They, uh, they don't seem to have enough confidence in their centres. They're, they're taking a long time to get the ball out to their centres, and I think they've got, they've got one of the best pair of centres in town. And uh, I think if they use it out wider, they might make a few more clean breaks. Ball in by Stradwick. Valley's lead by nine points to nil. That was the half-time score. No changes to either side during the half-time break. Only one change in the first half in the Southern Suburbs lineup. Valley's win the ball again. Lumby was replaced by Connell in the 22nd minute of the first half. Valley's going on with it. Quick passing. McQuirter. They're overrunning themselves. A long puck coming in. Intercept. Bracken has it. Can South capitalise? Bracken getting up very slowly. Argyros. Mick Graham from the other wing. Graham across field. Looks for a gap. Breaks one. Inside the quarter. Put down. Three metres inside the quarter. Can Southern Suburbs score? Valley's lead by nine points to nil. Ten minutes of play gone. In the second half, Solder, Mal Connell, Connell to Astle. Astle has Gibson inside, but Mills has hold of Astle, and down goes the Southern Suburbs skipper. About five metres inside, Valley Quarterway. Gibson, Bob Galloway, the big fellow, ducks under one, put down, ten metres out. David Gould from dummy half, dummies to everybody. Argyros, Argyros, can he sneak his way through? Not while Peter McQuirt is there. Last tackle coming up. For Southern Suburbs, no points on the board. Down by nine points to nil. Solders kickers in the air. All South are on side. Can they score from the bomb? No, it's out over the dead ball line. And play to restart from under the goal sticks. That's the brightest piece of play we've seen from uh, Southern Suburbs, David. Yes, George, they're putting it together. And uh, a good bomb by uh, South, and that'll allow them to keep on the pressure. And uh, Valley's flagging just a little bit. There's Ross Strudwick trying to encourage them on. It's a very hot afternoon. And as we've said, Valleys have played one game in four weeks, and this will be the time now that they'll start feeling it. If they haven't done enough work in that period of four weeks, we know South are going to run on. Drop out by Mills. McGraham. Straight through goes McGraham. Can he beat Lewis? No, he can't. And Lewis puts him in a touch. Lewis is saying a few well-chosen words to those men in front of him. Can you see that, Lord David? Well, he might, because I think Wally was having a little bit of a spell out the back, and he found himself having to do a bit of work. And uh, I would think that Valleys and Strudwick will not be very happy at all with this lapse that the side's going through at the moment. But South must get points on the board. If Valleys are in the lapse, they'll come out of it pretty quick because they're too professional to stay in it for too long. So while they're in there, South must get the points on offer. South ball from the scrub. Johnny Sola, five left in his other six. Can Southern Suburbs score points? Gibson in from fullback. Good tackle. Vic Will in the tackler. Meninga. Keeley, ten step. Decides to run. Good run. Ten metres out. Alan Bracken from dummy up. One can feel a try coming for Southern Suburbs. Connell. Back to Argyros. Argyros tries to dance his way through. Can't do so. Two left in his other six. Pressure mounting for Fortitude Valley. David Gould from dummy half. Can he score? I think he's in. No. Last tackle coming up. Southern Suburbs need the points. Down by nine points to nil. Argyros. Brian Weir. Weir. Lost the ball. Oh. Vic Whelan with the ball. What's your, uh, what's your gut feeling at this stage, Des Morris? Well, South is certainly putting the, put, taking it two valleys, but... Uh, they're still refusing to get the ball out to Meninga in it. And I think if, uh, if you have a player with that much ability in the side, you've got to make the most of him. And I don't think they are. And uh, they're trying to bust Valleys in the forwards. I don't, I don't think that's where the gap's going to come. Do you think uh, Valleys can last the distance? Yeah. Well, it's a bit early to say, isn't it, George? Really, it's, uh, south. It's, it's been all south in the second half. It's been in their half for the whole uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Valleys with the ball. Strudwick. John McLeod. Final tackle, and the scrum to pack. Once again, a vital scrum, and Ross Strudwick is really laying down the law to his troops. Coming up to 14 minutes of play gone, second half. 26 minutes of play left. 
and the 1979 BRO Winfield Trophy in the balance and the crowd in the outer very pro-south chanting the south-south song now Strudwick to feed Richards can't get down Richards still can't get down now they're in South ball Solder well, as I said, David, they must score points now. Well, I've got uh, Valleys and, on the rack, uh, really. Lay the ball. Yes, and Valleys have ended with it, and really, South have had Valleys on the rack. You can see the difference in the two sides. The spirit is there in South at the moment. And there's a little bit of panic and a lot of shouting going on there at Valleys, and not a great deal of work. They're going to need uh, a big performance from fellows like Lewis to get uh, Valleys out of this uh, temporary slump they're in at the moment. Ian Sommer. Somewhere about eight metres outside his own quarter. Shudwick. Peter McQuarter. A few metres outside the quarterway. Last tackle coming up. Lewis puts the kick in and tackled. Play on indicated. South with the ball. Well, Wally Lewis was very unlucky not to get a penalty then. The South player certainly obstructed him and then he put him right out of the play afterwards Meninga David Brown 10 metres inside Fortitude Valley Territory Gould, Salter Kellaway Bob Kellaway can't put the big man on the ground